I think computer games can be a valuable part of growing up. Well-designed games can teach strategic planning, patience, optimization, and self-confidence. My daughter loves computer games. She's actually quite good at them. It's pretty fun to watch a four-year-old girl win against random people online. However, after she plays computer games for a bit, she becomes completely unwilling to play with anything else. Instead of playing with her Lego or trains, she'll just lie around. I don't remember this behavior from when I was a kid, so what's changed? Quite a lot, actually. When I was young, this is what Tetris looked like. Today it looks like this. It's a multimedia extravaganza. Yes, it even features a hypnotic spiral in the background. The whole experience is designed to be maximally addictive. My first attempt to get back to basics was to buy this handheld device. It's definitely minimal, but it's also pretty terrible. Poor contrast, harsh sound, and horrible gameplay. Well, I'm a professional software engineer, so let's fix this. Introducing Beaver Games, a collection of high quality, non-addictive, web-based games for young children. Featuring Repeat, a memory game. Snake, a one or two player game. Tic-tac-toe. A jumping, ducking, side-scroller. A game we'll call Tetromino for legal reasons. And a tactical game on a hexagonal grid. All these games run comfortably on a Raspberry Pi 3 running Linux, with a keyboard and a mouse. For now, I'm staying away from touchscreens or game controllers. These games will grow as Beverly grows. They are all written in pure JavaScript with no frameworks or dependencies. My hope is that in a few years, Beverly will start hacking this code herself. In the meantime, she's totally happy to play Beaver games for 10 minutes or so, then turn off her computer on her own initiative and return to making the floor a disaster zone with her Lego. Try out Beaver games and let me know what you think. The code is open source, so have fun!